Timing's perfect. We need your help now more than ever. Clearly. They're targeting our engines. The bioform to Khan on board, they'd rather cripple us if they can. If we lose the engines, we can't avoid the bioforming ray. Brace for impact! Put them through. Sorry to keep you waiting, Resolute. We got here as fast as we could. Looks like you've got your hands full with this monster. We're damn glad to see you, Captain. We could use all the help we can get. I told you I'd be here. So, what are we up against? They're powering up for another attack. We have to warn them. Open a channel to all Starfleet ships immediately. Starting emergency transmission. This is Captain Jara Rydek of the USS Resolute. The ship we're fighting is armed with a bioforming ray that can transform your entire crew instantaneously. And they've stolen our shield algorithm, so there's nothing we can do to stop them. Avoid being hit at all costs. I wish we'd known that before we got here. It's only a matter of time before they get their bearings. When they do, they're going to turn against us. The sooner we attack them, the better. They can all be to come. Or none of them. We can't assume anything yet. And we can't afford to be wrong. I can't attack another Federation ship. I need alternatives. Full impulse power. Take us in for a closer look. Aye, Captain. Starfleet ship. The Takan have it. Shields at full power. Shields are holding against the Pawtucket's attack. For now, at least. Fire photon torpedoes. Firing. Metrics. Handar, evasive maneuvers. Get us out of here. Aye, Captain. Don't worry, Resolute. We've got your back. Their weapon systems are offline. Captain, I suggest we minimize the collateral damage. Destroy their engines and we can turn our focus to the Aphelion. It's the most prudent thing to do. And I hope they would do the same if the situation was reversed. Take out their engines. Fire when ready. Targeting their engines. Commencing fire. Now. one of us to take on alone. But collectively, we might just have a shot. On our way. Full impulse power. Aye, Captain.
Target the bioforming ray. Fire photon torpedoes. Firing photon torpedoes. Weapons and defensive systems are down, too. Engine output remains consistent. It's not reaching its destination. This is what happened to the Enterprise. They're draining our energy. We're caught in it, too. I hope the away team finds some way to help. too used to it. We're gonna take that thing down. enough to get through. Well, is it wide enough? No, but I can see the cartabula. What about now? Ah! I still can't get in. Stand back. I'll try again.
gap isn't much wider. Can we get through? Maybe. Maybe we can widen it with a containment field from the tricorder. Oh! I don't think we can crowbar our way in. It takes a Takan to do it. die than become one of you. I won't kill you. Join the flame. Thank you. 
go and finish this, my brother. Reach the Cartabula. Very good. Are you all right? Yeah, we're inside. That's what matters. Two of ours are keeping the Bioform ships at bay, but they can't hold them off forever. I'm receiving tricorder transmissions from the away team. They're picking up our warp core resonant frequency within the Aphelion. They're bleeding us dry. But they're not just taking our power, they're routing it through the Cartabula. That's the Resolute's warp core resonant frequency. And these others? Their frequency matches the Titan's warp core resonance. And these two are the Kimball and the Lowell. They're both Steamrunner class. Same engine platform. They're just tuned a little differently. I must be getting information from the bioforming, but this warning means that it's struggling with the power stacked up at close frequencies. The Cartabula can't handle the dissonance? Maybe. Hermato away team, are you reading these Starfleet engine signatures? We are. And you need to see this. The Steam Runner class frequencies are causing problems for the Aphelion's energy source. Sending visuals now. They're vulnerable. We have to use this. Captain. If they want to take all of our power, I suggest we give it to them. How? If we, and the other Starfleet ships, work together and send maximum warp output tuned to those same frequencies, it could overload their core. There is merit to the theory. 
but if we attempt this, it would preclude any other course of action. I wouldn't risk this ship without good reason. If this is going to succeed, we'll need all Starfleet ships to pitch in. We aren't alone anymore. We need to leverage that. I will create a high-energy static warp shell. We'll need the away team to guide us to the right frequency. We read you, Resolute. You're putting a lot of faith in us, Captain. That's a hell of a plan. We don't want to let you down. I know it's a lot to put on your shoulders. But we need you, right where you are. Yes, Captain. I found an ejector team for the Cartabula. So we can disengage it, just like we did with the Zeldi's warp cores. Yeah, but it'll only activate if this thing gets completely overloaded. So we gotta take it right up to the edge of destruction. We are increasing the warp core resonant frequency now. wants to take over, it's going to have to go through the both of us. And I'm not going to let that happen. You hear me? I can always count on you. You'll stand by me to the end. This isn't the end. Is something wrong? No, no, we're, we're fine. Do you see our output frequency changing? We do. What is the impact on the Aphelion systems? Keep it up, Resolute. It's starting to work. The bigger they are, the harder they'll fall. Inertial dampeners are failing. All warp power still being drained to the Aphelion. So that part of the plan is working. Now we need the others to join us. Open a channel to anyone left on our side. Opening a channel. This is the Resolute. We're sending instructions to all ships to output maximum more power at the designated frequency. We believe this will disable the Aphelion. We don't know that. All we know is it'll siphon off our energy much quicker. You're leading us to disaster. Are you out of your mind? That has given them exactly what they want. You can't just expect us to turn belly up. Our strength in Starfleet comes from our ability to work together, especially when everything is on the line. I could get behind that, Captain Rydek. We're adjusting the Titan's warp output to match the Resolute. I suggest the rest of you do the same. are joining us. This is the Takahashi. Adjusting our engines now. With our tabula, it's compensating. Counteracting our interference. But some of these other frequencies are causing spikes too. I'm gonna find a new target range for the resonator. Try this out. Here. This one's hitting the hardest. If they all converge here, it'll provide the maximum disruption to the Cartabula. Got it. We want to overload this thing, push it to the brink, but not past it. Are you sure about this frequency? If we go too far, we won't just be destroying the Cartabula. Sometimes you just gotta go on faith, Millie. Really. I have faith in you. That's enough. Sending data to the Resolute. Updated to 
Telemetry coming from the away team. We have a new target range. Sending new parameters to engineering. We are now running our core at 105% of recommended capacity. If we try to meet that frequency, we will generate a harmonic imbalance of our own and risk a warp core breach. I must warn you, these are precisely the engine conditions that Captain Solano's experiment brought about. A runaway reaction is a dangerous possibility right now. We can eject the warp core if it comes to that. Even emergency procedures have non-zero failure rates. If it doesn't work, we're dead anyway. So give me what you've got. Consequences be damned. Aye, aye, Captain. It's not going to eject. We have to disengage the cartabula manually. We lit this fuse. We've got to make sure it doesn't go up the wrong way. If we can pull hard enough on those levers, it'll dislodge this thing. Returning warp reactor to nominal output levels. The Takan are running off reserve power now. I saw what you did. Sacrifice you made. Radiation levels are spiking. It's coming from the Cartabula. We must have damaged it. Didn't get it out before it fractured. Our work here is done. 
Let's get out of here. <coughs> Three to beam back to the Resolute. Our transporters won't cut through the interference. We can't lock on. We can't stay here. We're not getting away in that thing. There. Maybe I can use this to get us out of here. I don't know if it can get us back to the Resolute, but we have to get away from here. Everybody on! Radiation's lower here, but still too high for us to stay on this ship. This is good, but we can do better. <coughs> and soon, I hope. We gotta get all the way to the Resolute. That thing is down, not out. We'll handle the stolen Federation ships, but you need to get a crippling shot on the Ophelia. A direct hit to its bridge will bring it down. I can take us real close, Captain. Skim the hull of that thing where I can't get a clear shot at us. Or... Or... I can weave us through the battle. And hope we don't get caught in the crossfire. You can't take much more damage. Take us along the Aphelion's hull. Get us to the bridge as fast as you can. Aye, Captain. position for a shot at the bridge. Photon torpedoes armed and ready. <coughs> Break off this attack, or I will be forced to eradicate you. The damaged cartabula is continuing to release deadly amounts of radiation. Thankfully, it's still contained within the Aphelion. They have comrades on that ship, both living and waiting to be reborn. We're going to die in here if I don't care. We will never submit to your Federation. We are taking our rightful place as rulers over this galaxy. Radiation poisoning is a terrible way to go, but it doesn't have to be that way. We can render aid to your crew. Uh, no. We've crossed the eons to get here. I won't stop now. Fire Salvo! The radiation is rising here, too. Targeting the Resolute? I can't let you do that. Get on. Damn it. I can't hold on to it. I have to make manual adjustments to enhance the signal pattern from here. What do you mean? I'm not gonna make it out. No way. We're all leaving together. We've been through too much to split up now. We don't leave people behind. Got it? I'm really sorry, Nelly. I'm not gonna be able to go with you. But I have to get you back. Please. Then that will be stuck here. Give it to me, and I will save us, not them. Stop it. <coughs> What's happening? It's an internal struggle, and he's losing. Not like this. It's the Takan. In my head, it's trying to keep me from sending you back. There has to be a way for you to... There isn't. The time is now.
away team has beamed back. We're in position and ready to fire, Captain. Remember when I said this wasn't over? It is now. Please, we need to target the ship. Pummel it to space dust. Like we did to so many others who dared to confront the Takan Empire. Fire. All decks secure. We have the bioformed on board, fully contained. The Starfleet ships under Takan control have signaled their surrender. Good work, Captain Ryan. Next time I need some backup, I'll know who to call. I trust you won't have a problem with that. Thanks, Captain Riker. I owe you one. Yes, you do. But who's keeping count? Captain, we're being hailed. It's the Aphelion. On screen. <coughs> the radiation. We... <coughs> we won't last much longer in here. Please, we surrender. We need your help. Please, people, support your ship. Captain, I must remind you that when an enemy is surrendered, it is our duty to render aid. You already offered help and they turned you down tried to destroy us. Why reach your hand out to them again? Because it's the Starfleet way. This is the fate they've chosen. Leave them where they are. You can't do that. <coughs> we don't have much time. We submit. I don't, I don't know what else I can say. Please. We don't want to die. This is what separates us from them. The fact that we can make a gesture of peace, even after all our conflict. Set up containment fields in the docking bay and beam the Takan there. Crew of the Aphelion, shut down all systems. Lower your defenses and prepare to be transported. Thank you.
first order of business will be to help reestablish the Hotari government and resume peace talks, genuine talks, with the Olivians. And after that? Who knows? I know I don't want to be queen. There's so much good I could do with just a fraction of your medical technology if I could bring it to my people. But I also want to see what else is out there. Maybe there's even a place for me in Starfleet. It would be hard to stay on Hotari forever. Not with all there is to experience, to learn. My devotion to my people doesn't mean I don't want to explore all the galaxy has to offer. When you're ready, Starfleet will be waiting for you. I'll even put in a good word at the Academy. Thank you. Perhaps I can serve on one of your ships someday. I wouldn't have it any other way. But there are pressing matters we must attend to before any of that. I can't thank you enough for all you've done. I'll see you again. Starfleet has granted me the privilege of conferring this upon you. Though I'm sure Captain Solano would rather have been the one offering this. You have acted dutifully and bravely through trying circumstances. I grant you the official rank of Captain. I believe a great many wonders lie ahead for you, Jara Rydick. There appears to be nothing that can stand in your way. I can't wait to see what else is out there. It is nearly infinite. All you need is the curiosity to match it. Victory. Peace. These things never come without a cost. For some, it requires putting aside centuries of enmity. For others, it takes facing complicated losses. To Carter. How do you say goodbye to someone? I thought I knew how to leave the past behind, but uh, I've learned a thing or two. And for too many, they had to pay the ultimate price. In time, history may forget their sacrifices, but those of us who were there never will. Now, all hands honor the dead. Captain Solano used to say that nothing ever stays the same. Entropy. It's the nature of the universe. As such, the crew of a starship can never stay the same. But while Entropy says that order inevitably gives way to chaos, this crew has only grown stronger. More cohesive and coherent. Bound by our shared struggles. And working together, helping each other, we're able to do more than we'd ever imagined. Some of our differences couldn't be resolved. But perhaps that too can change in time.
engage. Space, the final frontier. As we take our next steps into the unknown, the greatest insights that lie ahead are what we learn about each other. We might even surprise ourselves. And no matter what threats we may come upon or mysteries we face, we will not be shaken. We are stronger together. We are steadfast in our purpose. We are resolute.